Okay, hi everybody. I'd like to introduce Maureen and Judy, both of whom came to stay on Immersive Homestay this year. And I thought I'd invite them to say something about it themselves in person here on Zoom. So uh, welcome Maureen and welcome Judy. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here. I've been looking forward to this. We miss France. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so my first question is, why on earth did you choose to do an immersion in the first place? Um, I began my French uh, journey three years ago, and I was learning and could not speak French until I joined Conversation Cafe with Christine. Um, I was speaking with people who became my friends, so I was very comfortable, and I look forward to coming to France and trying my French in in country and seeing if i really could do it therefore i thought immersion with christine who is very very encouraging and welcoming that would be the way to go that's why i chose immersion <laughs> thank you and how about you judy thank you very much maureen well a lot of the same reasons i i started my french in high school and um hadn't spoken french since then during conversation cafe you seemed like a really uh, wonderful person that would be fun to stay with and actually speak french with people in france um for me it was more of a listening um endeavor so to speak and so that part i enjoyed because it really challenged me to to listen and try to understand when people were speaking in french so couldn't you just have done that on holiday uh, no, <laughs> I've been to France four times <laughs> before that, and um, I always used crutches like we had a tour guide twice and she would do all the speaking and we'd just be in the background, so to speak. And uh, so this way, I knew that I would be able to participate and it forced me to listen, which like like I said, that's the most difficult thing for me in my mind. Um, and so I like that that part of it. I like the idea that we were only going to speak French for the whole week. That leads me to my next question. When you were here, what did you enjoy the most, both of you? Everything, everything. It exceeded <laughs> my highest expectation. You geared the immersion towards our wants and needs and what we like to do and what we were capable of doing. I loved, we went for a bike ride to a lake. We went hiking in the Pyrenees, which was the absolute most and had lunch up, up on top of, of a mountain. The fact that you invited your friends and neighbors into your home to meet us, to talk with us. They cooked for us. Um, they were all very welcoming. They all spoke slowly. And it was such a thrill to know that I could understand them and communicate with them in French. And they understood me. It was such a revelation for me. And I, I think that's my favorite part. And we've made friends with your friends and neighbors. A taste of real France, just living immersed in real life. <laughs> Judy, how about you? Well, I. I just adored the trip into the Pyrenees. Um, I've, I've done a lot of hiking in the past and, and that was something that would have been on my bucket list really. And so to go up there and to sit and have lunch, that was just spectacular. But also just our stay at, at your house was extraordinary for me. You had these, this garden and these fruit trees and everything that you made us was so delicious. I mean, it wasn't like, um, it wasn't wasn't an afterthought or anything like that. I mean, you really planned for for our stay there. Truly enjoyed the wine tasting we went to to the vineyard, and um, of course, Mark, he's there the whole time. So it's like we had another friend with us the whole time. You planned that chef extravaganza where they ended it with fireworks, and I mean, we had no idea that something like that would be part of our trip, and so there. There were so many highlights, it's really difficult to say what my favorite thing was. <laughs> it was just a wonderful experience overall. Thank you. Thank you. I'm touched to hear you say that. Mark was like visiting with a friend. Yeah. We would uh, talk to these new people that we, you know, we were just meeting and getting to know them. But Mark was like 
having he he spoke very well in French and but we understood him. He was more uh, to our level or he brought himself down to our level. He didn't correct us and we just communicated. And it was such a, a relaxing relationship that he is a huge, huge part of this immersion. So we, we just want him to know we appreciated him so much. Next question is, what could you do afterwards that you couldn't do before? Thanks to being on Immersive Homestay for a week. Well, um, I could not speak French. I knew French, but I could not make words in French come out of my mouth when I joined Conversation Cafe. Thanks to you, Christine, I've relaxed and I can actually talk to other people in French. And one of the, which is the main reason I wanted to come to France to put that to practice. But when I left, I was so confident. I felt so good about myself and my ability. I could walk into a store and talk about the products and the weather and how they're feeling. And yes, I'm and about myself, where I'm from, the servers, I could order a meal. And one of the best things about the immersion also is Christina signed us each a task on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My task was to go into the veterinarian's office and change Christine's dog, Leo, his appointment from 9.30 to 10.30. And I went in and I did it and he got his appointment changed and there was no problem. It was such an ego boost. I can't tell you how important that was for me. Sweet, how about you, Judy? Well, I, I felt like I could listen better for one and with that, with not as much effort, I guess, but it made, it encouraged me to start watching more videos in French and uh, which I had been reluctant to do. But now, you know, after being there immersed, I was thrown among French people and I was finding that I could understand for the most part what everybody was saying. So that, that made me more comfortable about about listening and speaking. It helped progress my French overall, I think, from where it was, hopefully. I think that's a good point because when watching a film or listening to the radio or having sustained listening activities is really tiring. And we often turn away thinking it's too much. I, I would do that all the time before. And now, now I, I really, every day I try to watch something on YouTube or something in French yeah. and challenge myself to listen. Okay, so why would you recommend doing an immersive homestay with me? I have the answer to that. I have made many friends being a part of Conversation Cafe, good friends that are going to be lifelong friends. Many of them have done immersions. One girl has done immersion in a, a university where for two weeks she had classes all day long. Another one had an immersion where she stayed with a family and all they did was make her work, <laughs> do dishes. And another one had a, had a good immersion, um, but it was just her and, the, and a woman, a French woman. With you, Christine, you are there to bring us out. You were there for us. You designed our stay around what we wanted. You had a meeting with us before we came there, you asked us what we like to do, what we like to eat, did we have any allergies? What was our goal in coming there? And both Judy and I said, no English. And then afterwards we thought, uh-oh, what'd we do? But it, was, it worked out great. It worked out great because of you, because of Mark, because of your friends and neighbors, we were welcome as part of the family. And we didn't have to do dishes, no. <laughs> But, Not many. <laughs> but no, but we, if we wanted to, we could, but you, you made us feel part of your family and you designed the whole week around us. And we felt so special. Oh, we, yeah. we did. I would recommend this to anyone and to everyone, not just Conversation Cafe members, but anyone out there that wants to see, okay, I've been studying French. Can I really exist in France? This is the way Christine doesn't. Christine's not a crutch. She's a helper. She's a friend who guides you through it. It was a wonderful experience. I highly recommend it to anybody. To anybody. Judy. <laughs> I can't uh, say enough about how fun you are, upbeat and positive. And, <laughs> you know, that just makes an experience because 
you don't know if you're immersing with somebody what they're going to be like. We we fortunately knew knew you from the conversation cafe classes, but um, we just felt totally engulfed in your life, and and that was wonderful. From you know just just uh, the meals and and bringing your friends in to meet us. I mean that was I mean that really says a lot about what you think of us. And it makes us feel really good about you and to see what kind of person you are from the friends that you have around you. So it, it was very special, very special, probably unlike any other immersion, I imagine. Oh, God. I appreciated it. <laughs> the, 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 the big question is people often look at the price of these things and think, oh my gosh, no way. Um, the do you get good value for money is a question everybody wants to know. So I'm just going to lay it on the table, let the elephant out into the room, let it charge around a minute. Maureen, did you get good value for money? Oh, I think you know, and I shouldn't say this, you should raise your price because it's a fantastic value. You feed us, you chauffeur us around, you set up um, great adventures, all for this cheap price I couldn't just to stay somewhere I would pay more than this we've been on other guided tours without speaking French where it was a set schedule you will do this this and this and we're all going to do it together and I'm doing the talking and you just listen to me this is a total immersion this is totally our trip guided by you Christine and I cannot, I will never regret this trip. I will never regret the money. I would, would have paid more. I shouldn't say that. I don't want you to raise your price, but <laughs> it is a fantastic value. You get room, board, and entertainment and friendship for this inexpensive price. It's, it was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Judy. I feel, I feel totally the same. Uh, having been on another tour with with a woman who was also a t taught French in the United States and uh, was fluent in French, um, but she didn't include us in that. Not that at the time we asked her to, but I mean, I didn't feel the same kind of in inclusion, I guess you could say. Because of that, we weren't as immersed in the culture. In my mind, it was a very good value and it was, it was just wonderful because it, it was all inclusive and I mean, just having somebody plan your week on a vacation like that, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> Personally, I had a fantastic week. I'd like to add to Christine about the accommodations. It's in um, Christine's home. It's a beautiful home, but the accommodations for the um, immersion um, students or people are totally private. Have your own um, bathroom and beautiful accommodations beautiful yes. so comfortable it's hard to leave in the morning to come back downstairs <laughs> I'm so comfortable. but that the accommodations are alone are wonderful thank you very much for your very candid and honest um comments um, i really appreciate them <laughs> <laughs> thank you christine it was yeah, a wonderful experience i'll never forget thank you absolutely marvelous mm -hmm. yeah